holy. Be Holy is a broadcast ministry of believers dedicated to saving the souls of all men and women. We teach the words of God that people all over the world may hear the voice of God and obey Him. God doesn't want to show us His wrath or His anger. He just wants us to repent and be holy. And after one repents, he or she can be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, but certainly not before they repent. Listen, we really can't even discuss prayer until one repents. Yes, hell is making its way towards the unrepentant heart, but it is Be Holy's commandment and mission to warn everybody, not to control, to warn. The Word of God is spirit and it's life. That's why we take the Word of God seriously. We're not using shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We're not trying to trick anyone or or change the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all those who are honest and live by truth. They know the truth. They realize that we are telling the truth. Listen, friend, we've been preaching and teaching for over 20 plus years and the Lord Jesus is satisfied with our efforts and we want to keep it that way. Next on Be Holy. Be Holy. All right, we're back with Be Holy. We got cut off on verse 13 on last week. So where are we going to start this week? Luke 10, chapter 14. Oh, okay. All right. Yes, Tyre and Sidon will be better off on Judgment Day than you. Mm. And you people of Capernaum, will you be honored in heaven? This is Jesus talking? Yes. Mm. Go ahead. No, you will go down to the place of the dead. See that love? See how that love Jesus gave them just then? He told them the straight truth to their faces. Read that part again, that they would go down to hell. No, you will go down to the place of the dead. Mm. (laughs) Oh, yeah, you're gone. And God told him the truth, didn't he? He did. Go ahead and read. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Then he said to the disciples, anyone who accepts your message is also accepting me. So if they accept the disciples' message, they're accepting who? Jesus. Mm. So if they're accepting the disciples' message, they're accepting Jesus. Yes? Yes. And Jesus said this himself. That he did. So the disciples immediately told the people, when it's, as far as coming into the kingdom, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And the people did that then they accepted Christ. Yes. So if they didn't or refused to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, refused to repent, refused to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, talking about it doesn't matter, then they haven't received Christ. Hmm. They have not received him because they did not believe and obey what the disciples said. Right. The disciples told you what Jesus said. And Jesus comes back and says, if they believe you, then they believe me. So if you don't believe the disciples, then you sure enough don't believe God. You don't believe Jesus because he told you, I'm going to go straight to Jesus. People trying to say things like that. They'll say things like uh, when it comes to simple things like baptism, who are you going to obey Jesus or Peter? What did Jesus just say? What did Jesus just say? Anyone who accepts your message is also accepting me. So you can't even go to Jesus for your message. You can't go to Jesus for baptism. What did Jesus say right here? (laughs) (laughs) Anyone who accepts your message is also accepting me. Mm. So if you reject, I'm assuming that's coming up after that, right? Read that on. And anyone who rejects you is rejecting me. So if they reject the baptism of Jesus in Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ, then they're rejecting Jesus. Because who told you to do that? The Holy Ghost through Peter told you to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, this is what he's telling the laborers to tell people. He's telling them what to say, telling them what to do. And if this is the response you get, you do this. If you get this other response, then you do that. And if they say that if the people who don't receive you do anything, then this is what they're really doing. But if those who receive you do anything, this is what they're really doing. He's giving them the, the synopsis of this is what's happening in the world. This is 24 hours, 24 seven, every single day. No change. People don't change. It's the same thing that was going on back then as it is right now. If you speak and they accept it, then they'll accept me. But if they reject what you say, then they reject me. This is what he's telling the disciples. 
these same people, these laborers that he's going out and telling them and sending them places to heal people and to give the words of God and give peace to people. And they don't want the peace. And so he takes the miracles and the peace back. Read on. And anyone who rejects me is rejecting God listen who sent that. me. Listen to that. So if you reject the sacrifice or the body of the sacrifice, Jesus Christ himself, you're you're rejecting who? God. God. Because God was in that flesh reconciling the world back to himself. So you're not really rejecting Jesus when you say you don't believe Jesus. You're rejecting God. Well, I don't believe Jesus. I'm just going to be a Muslim. No, 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 no. You can't go to God and disrespect and leave Jesus. No, no. When you're talking to Jesus, you're talking to God. He said, when you've seen me, you've seen the father. Ain't no change. Ain't no difference. Jesus was God in the flesh. God living in flesh amongst us so that we could see him. Remember, we're going to see what he really is later. But we saw him as a man on earth. But if you reject what he's telling you to try to get you out of this earth, because he's going to destroy earth and heaven. If you didn't know that he's going to destroy this earth and the current heaven, and he's going to have a new earth and a new heaven. And his whole thing was to save those who would obey him out of this world so that they would be with him in the next world world. And if you reject what he's saying, you're going to go the, out the wrong door. You're going to exit out the wrong place. You're going to end up in the wrong place. And when you end up in the wrong place, that means you have rejected God. He sent people to tell you what he says. And because you don't want to hear it, you reject the people thinking that you're unliking the people thinking that you're creating something to tear the people, God's people down so that they, so they'll go someplace and not talk anymore and not say what God says anymore. But what you don't understand was God already told us from the beginning, if they deny you and reject you, they're not just rejecting you, they're rejecting me. And if they reject me, then they're rejecting God because Jesus was not just a man. Jesus is God. But he's telling the laborers how to look at them and how to deal with people. If they receive the peace, stay there. Heal. If they reject the peace, leave. And don't even take the dust from that city with you. Hmm. Go ahead. Verse 17. When the 72 disciples returned, mm -hmm. they joyfully reported to him, yeah. Lord, even the demons obey us when we use your name. Mm. Even the demons obeyed us when we used your name. And so when I run across Christians who don't want to use the name of Jesus, that tells me one thing. That tells me this one thing. If they don't, want to use the name of Jesus they don't want the demons to obey them because they're with the demons the they're demons are of the devil they're of the devil <laughs> the devil is controlling them the devil is controlling them when it comes down to God just the mere use of his name Jesus Christ makes the devils obey you the mere use of it. So when you don't use it in your baptism, the devil can't obey you in the baptism. He can't wash away the sins because the devil is still there in you because you won't call and use the name. There's only one name given whereby we must be saved. That's that name, Jesus Christ. We can't do nothing without that name. And so when people say, well, uh, you, you. Y'all just say Jesus too much. You say Jesus' name too much. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Y'all say too much. Hey, 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 hey. Devil. Jesus. Because we use the name Jesus, the devils obeyed us. When you can't use the name Jesus if you don't know God, you can't use it. Because the devils won't recognize you. Remember the, the sons of Sceva or whatever his name was, they were trying to we do this, that in the name of Jesus. And then and the devils end up beating them, beating them down and, and tearing their clothes off because they didn't know him. They say, Jesus, we know Paul. We know 
We don't know you. And how would they know them? By using the name Jesus. You don't want to use the name, so be it. I'll use it. The devils have to obey us because we use the name. Now watch what happens after this. When they get too ha- they get too happy. Watch what happens. Verse 19. Uh, Look, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. Mm-hmm. And you can walk among snakes and scorpions and crush them. Yeah. Nothing will injure you. See, he's not talking about us walking around and grabbing actual snakes and scorpions. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about the demons, the ones you can't see. That's why you listen. If you saw a snake on the ground, you're going to walk on it. No, because you didn't see the snake. You stepped on it. You see that? So because we can't see the demons, we walk on them and we run into them all the time. But once we recognize that's what it is, guess what you have to use? You have to use the name. They respond to the name. Go ahead. 20. Mm-hmm. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Right. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. Registered where? In heaven. Hmm. Registered in heaven. Registered in heaven. Most people don't even know that their name is registered in heaven. Or is supposed to be registered in heaven. Think about this. If it's already registered in heaven, God's not going to judge us because our names are already what? Registered in in heaven the ones he's going to judge are the ones who are not registered in heaven that's what we keep trying to tell you if you just stop sinning and stop going and doing what the devil suggests for you to do things you might want to do the devil can't make you do anything but he can suggest it and if he suggests the right thing and you're weak enough to go do it then he can talk you straight into sin But if he can talk you into sin, he can help you lose your salvation or keep you from salvation. But we as the children of God, the sons of God, we bring bring to you the words of God to remind you of this is what is this is what God has said. And you're not going to get away from it, regardless of how much you feel and, and what anybody else has told you. You have to do it the way God says it. And if God has said that thing, if God has said that thing, you and you obey that thing, what he said then you're registered in heaven. That is the key. Be registered in heaven. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Join the discussion on Facebook at Be Holy Broadcast. Our Be Holy podcast is at Podbean or contact us at beholy116 at gmail.com or 614-268-7757. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Tune in next week. Be holy.